What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the LOI and tell you guys why I am forced to put a lift kit on this truck. But before we get to the topic, I want to show you guys a little clip of my buddy Shane driving the LOI. He had an LML Duramax, he sold it, got a Silverado, and then ended up getting a Tahoe. Now he's trying to go back to a diesel. He's, he's never wanted to buy an LOI because he wants a six-speed transmission. He was sold on a six-speed transmission and he said that the oldest truck he would buy would be an LBZ. So I was like, you know what, I got a bigger turbo in this, it's fun to drive. Why don't you take it for a spin? So we drove it about 10 minutes to Walmart and here is his reaction. Do you guys remember Shane? He had the black LML Duramax. He's got a Tahoe now. Chevy Tahoe, but here you go, buddy. Take the LOI for a spin. You excited? Yeah. You haven't yeah. driven a Duramax in a while. No, you got the auto start? Hell no. <laughs> it's an 05. No backup cam or nothing, huh? Nope. I need to get one. There you go. I swear these trucks are the most comfortable seats. Right? Dude, this there. little dude, this little armrest. I don't care who you are. I don't care which Duramax you have. This is the most comfortable armrest on any GM. I'm not putting the quality of the leather. It's just got no backup camera. It's like it triggers the backup camera, but there's nothing there. What you think? Sounds amazing. Say what? I love it. Shane did find this truck, Fine. and then he messaged me. I found them all, don't I? Well, you messaged me. I wasn't really planning on buying it until yeah. like two weeks later. Nah, I like the way it whistles. Yeah. Five inch would growl a lot more, but four inch, four inch is like a high pitch turbo. And with this 64 millimeter turbo, dude, it just sounds amazing. But it's, the truck itself is not loud. It's actually pretty quiet, but it's that turbo. It just whistles. I just let him drive it to Walmart, of course. We had to park in the back because we might get a picture as well as to protect the truck from everyone else all the Karens and Kyles but then when we come back I, I bet you there's gonna be trucks cars all yeah SUVs minivans all around it it never fails but what was your first impression I was impressed on how straight it drives to be so old I mean, obviously, it's still got alignment. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, still, it ain't, it ain't like bouncy. Like, it's, you know, a wheel just kind of loose. That's true. Here's what you're talking about in the brakes. Yeah. But, uh, you can tell it's too. Big. There's a lot of play in the brakes, huh? A lot, yeah. That's why. Like I, I said, the brakes, I feel like the brakes catch good, but it's just a minute before they catch. It's, it's that, like, the pressure. There's it's not, not enough not pressure. The pressure. So that's why I got the new Hydro Boost at home. It's the 2011 Duramax Hydro Boost. And it's a direct bolt onto this, so I'm making a video on that. So, yeah, I hate the brakes. Because yeah, right. getting in my LML and how good it stops for 37s and 14 wides, and getting in this. Yeah, it's almost it, like you got no brakes. Right. Yeah. So it, it, it gets me a little paranoid and just sketched out. So we'll be on the lookout. Maybe Shane's convinced to get an LOI, because he was not convinced getting a 5 speed Duramax. He, would, he did not want to get an LOI. He was going to get a... I wanted to go fast. Yeah, he wanted to get a LBZ because it's got a six-speed. All right, now that we're back, let's go over the LOI. And I'm going to have to tell you guys why I am forced to put a lift kit on this truck. Ooh, I better be careful because there's like broken glass pieces everywhere. Real quick, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. I gotta make sure I don't run any of those over. Especially like something like that. That could be bad. 
anyway let's go ahead so from for starters a lot of you guys that have been following me since i bought this truck love love the way it sits and don't get me wrong i love the way it sits too i think the the way it sits it's perfect and a lot of you guys asked me like what size lift kit do i have and when i went to go test drive this truck i honestly thought this was lifted as well i thought it was on like a three inch lift or four inch lift turns out it is bone stock stock suspension the keys are just turned up way way too high that is not that's not very ideal so that setup is not ideal still not level the back is still a little bit higher ideally i want my truck to be completely leveled and cranking up the torsion bar any higher is not an option for me just because it rides so rough right now and i don't want my cv axles axles to be like this i want my cv axles to be very flat on this truck all my other trucks i've always had the seven to nine inch kit and i've always cranked it up to about you know two inch level so my cv angles were a little bit like this which is not bad but with this truck i want i want it to have like completely flat level i want to maintain all the good ride quality i possibly maintain i already have a set of 22 by 14 wheels that came from drop star and i plan on putting some 33s and when i go with those tires i'm gonna get 33 by 14 50 because i don't like the stretched out tire look at all and i don't like the way they ride and i just don't like how they don't protect the wheel at all 22 by 14 and 33 by 14 50 is not gonna fit i mean it's not gonna fit the way it is now and ideally for the ride quality i would want to turn the front down about two inches so that way the the cv axles are flat but if I do that, it's gonna be sitting like this and that's just not an option. So cranking up the torsion bar any higher is not an option. Leaving it like this is also not an option because I hate the way it rides. So to fit the wheel tire combo that I have that I wanna run, also to improve the ride quality, I have to lift this truck because either I lift the truck or I drop the truck and I just don't wanna drop this truck. This truck. I love the way it sits now. I wish it was sitting a little bit taller. So with that being said, I've always been a lifted truck kind of guy. I've never been like slammed trucks. Even me just doing like a four to six inch lift, that's still like not as big as I normally like. It's a step in a new direction for me just to only do like a four inch lift on this. There's two lift kits that I've been looking at, four and a half inch BDS and a six inch zone. I'm leaning more towards the zone just because it's a six inch lift. Turn it down and set it at about four and put three inch blocks and i've seen pictures i've had people send me pictures which i appreciate you guys doing that taking the time and doing that cv axles are completely flat it'll just ride so much better even if i turn it down to four inches there's a chance that with my wheel tire setup i may have to set it at like five inches and if i'm doing uh, a six inch zone and you know setting it at five i'm still turning the keys down and maintaining this flat cv axle whereas if i got a four and a half inch bds and for some reason i have to turn this up because it won't clear my wheel tire size then i'm throwing off that front end geometry a little bit to where the cv axles are starting to come up which is not what i want i guess it would be this way since we're looking at the truck from this angle but everything up front is completely stock He's got new control arms, which is good because I might just keep these for now and upgrade to Kryptonite, upgrade to Kryptonite ones later. But yeah, the way it's just the way the keys are turned up right now, it just rides so rough. <laughs> the shocks are worn out, front and back. Every bump, it's just bad. It rides. Every single bump, you can feel it, and it just bounces around. There is nothing the shocks are absorbing. It rides super squishy. It's just not ideal, so we're going to go with Bilstein shocks all the way around. Bilstein's in the back, and then I'm going to do Bilstein reservoirs up front just because I like the way the reservoirs look. And if you look at it now, I mean, I love the way the truck sits, but it's also not leveled and the keys are jacked up in the front the truck's got super springs because the previous owner towed a decent amount i mean as you can as you can tell by having the gooseneck which this truck could potentially turn into a uh, tow pig if i ever get a trailer that's big enough for me to be hauling my denali to shows and whatnot 
I want this build to be a little bit different than all my other builds. Uh, that's why I want to be as low as possible, but at the same time, be able to clear the wheel and tire setup that I have that I want to run for this truck. Trust me guys, <laughs> rubbing is not fun. When I ran 375s on the six inch BDS lift, and then that BDS lift was turned down. It was set at like five, five and a half. It was not fun. I was scrubbing really badly. And I was so glad when I got that McGoy's lift because I was able to turn freely and I wasn't scrubbing. To me, it's kind of embarrassing when your truck is like scrubbing in front of like a bunch of people and they stare at you, especially at shows. So that is pretty much why I am forced to lift this truck because, well, to improve the ride quality because it sucks right now. It is terrible. And turning it down is not an option and leaving it like this is definitely not an option. To improve the ride quality, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full suspension lift, uh, keep that factory geometry, upgrade the front end to like heavy duty tie rods. Eventually, I'm gonna go with kryptonite control arms. I may even do cognito control arms. Eventually, down the line, I'm gonna have to replace the hubs. So I'll probably go with the kryptonite hubs. New gearbox is probably recommended. So I'll probably do that soon. And I'll probably do new idler and pitman arm when I do that as well as the idler and pitman arm support kit because that really tightened up the front end on the denali so i'll be doing that and uh, this front bumper is a mess i mean the previous owner tried to use touch-up paint but and that's from us like doing the turbo and using that stool and just hitting it against the bumper so i'm either going to try to repaint this or i might just have to get a new bumper and paint it I don't really want to do an off-road bumper on this because I really like the way the truck looks with the factory bumper. It's like that stock look. Don't get me wrong, I love the off-road bumper on my Denali because it's pretty badass, but I think on the on this build, I want to keep it as classy as possible. That is my PCV reroute. So don't make fun of me. I need to cut the hose. I just haven't I haven't done it. I'm just too lazy. I'll probably just have to cut it right there, but I got to put the liner back on here. But yeah, there is my three inch downpipe with Ryan's diesel services, 68 millimeter turbo. That is a perfect combo. It sounds amazing, which I'll show you guys uh, what it sounds like in a minute. Yeah, the tie rods need to be definitely upgraded and replaced because the boot on the tie rods are all torn up. And when I buy these trucks, for those of you guys who have been around this channel, for a long time you guys know that i've owned nothing but ifs and with all my trucks i upgrade the front end and it just rides so much better to me if you properly upgrade the ifs like upgrade the whole front end rebuild the whole front end it rides so much better than solid axle for sure this video so the next upgrade that I'm doing to this truck is probably gonna be the hydro boost and the reason why I say that is because the hydro boost that's on here now is like an auto zone hydro boost I had to replace my LML hydro boost with an auto zone one and I've lost I've almost crashed like five times with that auto zone one because I just lost pressure while I was driving like five times it was the scariest thing ever, but that was my, that was the only truck I had that I had at the time. And every time I would stop, bleed the brakes, and I thought it went away, but it just kept repeating. And once I replaced the Hydro Boost to like the AC Delco, like the factory one, I haven't had any issues. Pressure's good. Brakes are brakes stop way better than brakes stop better than this truck actually. So you know I don't like the I don't like the rebuilt AutoZone Hydro Boost. So. When I found out that this truck had the Hydro Boost replaced and it was from O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever, like Reman one, I went ahead and ordered the um, AC Delco one, like the factory one. But not only did I order the AC Delco one, I went ahead and bought the LML, 2011 LML Hydro Boost because it's a direct bolt-on and supposedly it stops better. So I'll give you guys an I'll give you guys like an installation video and as well as like a uh, review and then one thing I forgot to mention is even if I do put like a four and a half inch lift it's really not gonna sit any 
like that much higher than what it is now because my keys are jacked up uh, so I'm probably assuming that the keys are probably turned up to about two two and a half inches if I do four four and a half inch lift it's probably only gonna lift up the front end about another two inches so it's not gonna be that much bigger but it's going to be big enough for me to run the tire wheel tire combination but that is it for this video i know you guys have been asking me like what kind of lift i have on it now i don't have a lift it does look like it's lifted but um it's not it's stock it may look like it's lifted just because the tires are 34 inches and the keys are jacked up so it does sit much taller than your other 2500s that are on the road but that's also why it writes like crap and the whole front end needs to be replaced. I mean, that's always a good thing because I plan on keeping this truck for a long time. So I'll be the one replacing the whole front end and I'll know that everything in the front end is going to be good. So I got plenty of stuff coming for you guys. I mean, we're probably going to do a single stack on this. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you made it this far, please put this emoji just so that way I know who has watched it all the way through. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.